here we are at Lake Wichita Park. I told you I would come back and talk about this. If you didn't hear me say that, check out this video right up here. That was the first run. We're back to the second run. We have a memorial over here now. If you haven't been over here in a long time or never been here, here's what we have. Congressional Medal of Honor recipient, Thomas Weldon Fowler. Have a little POWMIA memorial over here, 1955 to 1975. Of course, we walked right past the big one, or rode right past the big one. This was the very first of it. Should have started here, I suppose. For those we shall never forget in honor of the grateful appreciation of the soldiers of the United States of America who answered our nation's call during the Vietnam War, sculpture by Garland Weeks, marker placed by the Major Francis Grice Chapter, NSDAR 2021. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Of course, we have some benches over here. Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps, and the Coast Guard. Let's go check out the rest of it. Soldier's Prayer. Sitting on Lake Wichita. And a hill over there. Back when I worked for the city of Wichita Falls, we commonly refer to that as Murphy Seal because the city parks director at the time was Jack Murphy. He had this wonderful idea about piling some dirt out here, and it just kind of kept piling up and piling up, and uh, pretty soon we got a big old hill for kids to play on, and uh, as you could see right through there, maybe, people to walk up. United States Coast Guard, 1790. United States Marine Corps, United States Navy, United States Space Force. That's pretty wild to me. I grew up in a time that was just science fiction. And now, it's reality. It's crazy. Department of Air Force, United States of America. United States Army. Have some pretty fancy artwork on the back of this monument. Very cool, I like that. Sad that we have to have something like this, but it's reality. Oh, they put the falls in behind the Alamo. Hmm. Interesting concept. Gold Star Families Memorial Monument. Great myrtles are pretty. You can see up there, he's going up that. Y'all think we could make it up that on the scooter? How far do you think we would make it? Taking bets right now. Let's go find out. I don't even think we're gonna make it through the grass over here, y'all. That's pretty rough. <laughs> Not even hardly making it up this end on the incline. Oh, that's as far as we got. 
didn't even make it to get started. It would have been fun though. I sure ain't carrying this up there and riding down it. No way. It doesn't do real good on the grass. If you're into disc golf, they have a disc a golf range out here. Just kidding. <laughs> well, I was a little disappointed that it wouldn't even go up a little bit of dirt. I thought we'd at least get, you know, up to that mesquite tree there, but uh, no. Couldn't even make it up. Probably can, can you see that little hump right there? I don't even know if we can make it over that. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a runner start at it. Go from down there. Oh, it made it over that little hump. Does really good on flat ground. What about that little trail right there? Let me turn the camera a little bit. There. We'll try it right there. I'm walking up it. Nope. It just won't do it. As far as we can go. You can kick it a little. Get it going. A little. It just ain't going to do it. Woo! I really wanted to go up the hill. That ain't gonna happen. It goes downhill really well. Come on, let's go for a ride. In case you're interested, okay, let's continue. Ruby-throated hummingbirds can cover in one spot and fly backwards. Oh, can hover in one spot and fly backwards. But their sign needs a little redoing. On that side, anyway, this side looks good. I didn't know a gray fox could climb a tree as easily as a cat. That's kind of cool. I had no idea. Mm. 
22 is what it says. Oh, mine goes 40. Does it really? Mm -hmm. Kind of pretty. You can see through the rail there. We've had a little rain, so we have a little water around here, which is a nice change. Yeah, let's continue. down to the pier here in just a moment I'm just going to show you that they have uh, carp catfish shad of course that the bass and stuff eat they have crappie and bluegill which is perch they also have sand bass in here as well I don't see that listed but there are sand bass in here Let's see what these other signs say on the other side oh, okay this is talking about the Lake Wichita Pavilion put that up there you want to read that the pavilion was right over there you see those posts sticking up out of the water not the pier over there but the post i'll show you closer in a moment here's what it looked like way back when okay Let's ride down to the fishing pier. Car park down there. Probably up to no good, but who knows? Maybe they're just out exploring like us. I actually learned to ski on this lake back when it had a lot more water in it. I'll explain that one in a moment. The housing addition, if you can see it across the lake there, is Lakeside City West. Lakeside City East is more back up this way. This is a floating pier, so it will go up and down as the lake goes up and down. And it does fluctuate a lot. Newer pier across over there. We'll go over there in a moment. Okay, we're over here to the newer fishing pier. We'll ride down there and check it out maybe it'll tell us when they built it right here I don't know I can't really remember nope Lake Wichita boardwalk oh this is the boardwalk hmm. anyway I think they built it see this is 2024 I want to say in about 2010, 12, 14, somewhere in there. I really don't know. But if you notice, oh, it kind of looks like boards, doesn't it? I guess it is boards. I guess that's why they call it a boardwalk. But I can tell you that you can fish from here. But it is a pain to bring a fish up over that little fence if you catch one. But if you see the post right down there, that is part of the old pavilion which burnt down. Here you saw on the sign back there. Okay, it's right up here to the spillway. I'll tell you a little something about that. This is nice, it's just, I wish they wouldn't have put the fence up so high. It makes it really difficult to fish off of.
Okay, this is the Lake Wichita Spillway. Beautiful, huh? Mm hmm. Well, you see, the thing of it is, back, let's see, probably back in the 90s. I believe it was in the 90s. I could be wrong. Could do some fact checking, I suppose. But anyway, the city of Wichita Falls decided it would be a wonderful idea to lower the lake level. See, the spillway technically used to be right down there. See that water tower straight in front of us right there? It's just to the left of that. Went under the highway, if you can see those cars, I doubt you can see them on the camera. But anyway, that was where the spillway used to be. But they got the Corps of Engineers to come in here and lower the lake. Now, originally, it was supposed to be a constant level lake, which was an agreement between the city of Wichita Falls and that neighborhood right over there. Lakeside City, east and west. Right there is Lakeside City East. Right over there is Lakeside City West. Yeah. It does have some pretty paintings on it though. I will give them that. A local gentleman painted that. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Anyway, that is the story of why this lake, partially why this lake is so low, is because the city decided to lower the lake level to help control the flooding. That some of the streets over here, you know, in that area, general area over there, it did tend to flood from time to time. So in a way I kind of get it, but it also ruined a lake. Instead of them doing something more clever, like possibly dredging out the original spillway and making it a little deeper so the water will flow on down. And actually this is part of the Holiday Creek. That is what formed Lake Wichita. Um, the head of the lake is way up that way. Comes under Sisk Road if you want to look that up. Uh, comes out of uh, around Holiday, Texas. Out in that area anyway. But there's a creek right through the middle of the lake and it went right on down through there. And on through Wichita and on out to the Wichita River, which eventually led to the Red River. Anyway, that is going to conclude this little adventure. Our next adventure, we're going to start right down there and go that way. So if that sounds like fun, watch for the next video. Y'all keep smiling and being kind to one another. I'll see y'all in the next adventure. Bye, y'all.